Have you ever wondered how much Tesla stock will be worth in the future? Will it be worth more than the GDP of some countries? Will it be worth more than the combined market cap of all other car manufacturers? Or will it even be worth more than the entire cryptocurrency market? Join us as we unravel the hidden Tesla stock prediction by the Tesla CEO himself, Elon Musk. I mean, we're used to the kind of Musk that we see on X, who sort of dips into everything, but this was an earnings call. What were your big takeaways from this? Oh my gosh, I, this was terrible. I feel bad for him. Uh, you look, he's got a lot of things going on, legal battles, custody battles with for his kids now, but it doesn't justify acting like Trump on Twitter, stonewalling the SEC or the European Union, and quite frankly, turning into a little baby on the earnings call. People do not understand what is truly hard. That is why I say prototypes are easy, production is hard. Uh, people think it's the idea or you make a prototype, you, you design a car. And it's not as though designing a car is, is, is that just anyone can do it. it. It does require taste. It does require effort to design a prototype. But the difficulty of going from a prototype to volume production uh, is like 10,000% harder to get to volume production than to make the prototype in the first place. And then it is even harder than that to reach positive cash flow. Elon Musk has just revealed Tesla stock price target for 2030. And according to him, Tesla stock could be worth up to a crazy amount in just seven years. Tesla launched its IPO in 2010. When the company went public, Tesla's stock price was trading at around a split adjusted rate of $5. And since then, Tesla's stock has jumped by more than 28,000%, making it one of the best performing stocks on the market. In today's video, we're going to explore the possibilities and predictions revealed by Musk and other top Tesla bulls like Ross Gerber, and discover how much Tesla stock can actually be worth in just seven years. So buckle in and get ready for this crazy ride of a lifetime with Tesla. Well, Kevin, uh, regardless of you know how you interpret Elon Musk's comments, we are seeing that reverberate throughout the EV sector. You look at where shares are among Tesla's competitors, all down partly because of what we heard from Elon Musk saying that higher rates are sapping demand. Is that the whole story here? Well, yeah. I mean, look, it's obvious that when rates go up, car prices become less affordable. It's the same thing for home prices. There are less buyers. Now, when it comes to homes, there are also less sellers, so you have a little less fluctuation. But in vehicles, everybody's producing more. So of course this is normal. But, the, but Tesla should be playing its strengths here. Tesla's strengths are out of everyone who's in this hard economy. Tesla is still generating massive profit per vehicle, massive free cash flow, and the only pure play EV in America to actually be generating this cash flow. There's so much potential. They're so close on autonomy. They're so close on a revolutionary new vehicle, the Cybertruck, which is an exoskeleton rather than a you know an internal skeleton for a vehicle. These are great products, and the people at Tesla should be cheered for this. On the 18th of October, at Tesla's Q3 earnings call, Elon Musk made a very strong comment about Tesla, and this has taken the headlines by storm across several news channels. In his own words, we dug our own grave with Cybertruck. Several Tesla investors have capitalized on this comment, predicting that the imminent downfall of Tesla is soon to come. And to make things worse, Tesla stock fell significantly after Tesla released its earnings after the third quarter of this year. However, what these analysts and bears fail to understand is that although Elon Musk disclosed Tesla's current position with its Cybertruck, he also failed to mention some of Tesla's key strengths. And this forms the basis of the 2030 Tesla stock prediction. Hey guys, welcome back to Tesla Tomorrow. In just a few years ago, the major concerns of Tesla investors were if Tesla was going to turn out to be a profitable company, but that view changed recently when the company started making a strong profit. Tesla has a net income margin of 10%, which is expected to grow as the company continues to scale. In 2020, Tesla had its first significant profit when it made $862 million in net profit. The figure rose to more than $5.5 billion in 2021, and over $11 billion in the following quarters. The car company made a net income of $3.3 billion in the first quarter of 2022, followed by $2.5 billion and $3.2 billion in the next two quarters. The automaker is about to record the same industry-leading margin. Even though many claim that recent price cuts have had long-term detrimental effects on Tesla's margin and overall valuation. 
But could this really be the case? Can Tesla still record industry-leading profit margins in the future? Well, let's find out. But before we do, if you like this type of content, hit that like button, subscribe, and turn on post notifications to keep up to date on everything going on with Tesla. Tesla is a powerful brand in the luxury electric vehicle market. The automaker has the greatest market share of the luxury electric vehicle market, and it has cornered the market with no competition, giving it an instant competitive advantage. Tesla also sells more EVs than any other manufacturer and has the largest market share of the US electric vehicle market. There's also a lot of Tesla bears that fail to understand this key important information. And the more they ignore the facts, the less they see into Tesla's future. First up, and probably the most important fact, is that Tesla has a competent leader. Elon Musk is known for his willingness to change direction very quickly and easily. He also possesses cost reduction engineering skills, one that is very rare for an engineer. This is the foundation of Tesla's innovation and the biggest catalyst for its future growth. During its early days in the auto industry, Tesla was growing and so were other EV makers. However, Tesla has managed to stay above these companies and currently leads by a fair margin. The automaker has several advantages that companies like Rivian, Lucid, and Neo will take years of constant high revenue figures in order to enjoy. The car company has the infrastructure needed to succeed in the EV industry. It's got the biggest supercharger network globally, and that puts it ahead of many other EV companies. Tesla also has manufacturing plants in the most important markets in the industry. Aside from cars, Tesla also produces solar panels, which will drive enormous sales and profits for the company. At the moment, Tesla's solar panels are highly rated in its markets, and Tesla is reportedly rated as one of the largest solar installers in the United States. Interestingly, Tesla's foray into the energy sector not only diversifies its revenue streams, but it also aligns with the company's global focus on sustainability. Tesla's business falls in line with its global effort to reduce global warming, and as more countries embrace EVs, and governments incentivize their adoption, Tesla's growth potential in 2030 becomes even more promising. So let's get to the big question. How can a company like Tesla potentially make enough money in 2030? Enough to hit these crazy high figures? And what would its stock price be by then? Suppose by 2030, Tesla's able to sell 12 million vehicles, while making $10,000 per vehicle. It sells a million bots and then it makes up to $65 billion on its robo-taxi fleet. Then with a PE ratio of 25, Tesla's market cap will be close to $6 trillion. With 3.5 billion shares available, Tesla's share price could reach $1,600 by 2030. This is even without valuing Tesla's energy business, and it is already evident that the demand for clean energy infrastructure or behind the next few years, meaning that Tesla is well positioned to benefit greatly from this increase in demand. According to Ross Gerber, investing in EVs and Tesla could be the most important investment scheme in the next decade. Several countries globally are actively adopting clean energy solutions, so long-term investors should be on the lookout for companies that have their businesses aligned with this. And coupled with the expected hikes in oil prices, Investing in Tesla and the EV theme in general should be one of investors' major focuses for the upcoming years. Most countries with EV policies aim to reduce emissions from petrol cars. Likewise, oil prices have become unstable in the years past. And with better innovation in the energy sector and coupled with Tesla's potential revenue from its other businesses, 2030 could be a pretty profitable year for Tesla and its investors. But what do you think about its stock and that year? Let us know down below, and if you want to know more about what Tesla's been up to over the last few days, go ahead and click on this next video on your screen. See you there!